This is an all on four start to finish tutorial explaining every step from contouring the nano ceramic overstructure, preparing the trilo bar for looting both together to layering and glazing the pink tissue. The nano ceramic jacket should be milled in a dedicated milling program. Adai provided me with a disc which at the time of creating this video had not been released to the market yet. It, it contains 78% ceramic. ceramic. Trilor is a high performance techno polymer matrix with multi-directional glass fiber reinforcement. It can be milled in a PMMA milling strategy. Recommended are diamond or tungsten carbide burrs. After grinding off all the sprues, I do a fit check to ensure a passive fit of the trilor bar into the nano ceramic jacket. Before sand testing the surface, especially the trilor bar should be free of oil and dirt to avoid sand blasting those into the trilor. Therefore, I steam clean both jacket and bar and sandblast both with aluminum oxide 110 mu at 2 bar. After that, I gently clean the surface with pressured steam. It is a good idea to use cleaning alcohol to prepare the surface of trilor and nano ceramic as it helps to get them ready for further work. Using a cotton swab, I carefully clean both materials to remove any remaining dirt or oils. Before fusing the trilor bar and the nano ceramic jacket together, we need to close the screw access holes in the bar with wax. Another crucial step that is often overlooked is application of a bonder onto the surfaces of both materials. You can opt for either pack bond or bond LC from an extent. This bonder acts as a mediator between the materials and the fusing agent. Using a micro brush, I carefully apply the bonder on the exterior of the bar and the interior of the jacket. Both parts are getting cured in a UV box for no longer than 90 seconds. After that, I'm gonna check the fit again to avoid any surprises. For the bonding agent, you can pick any brand or company you trust. In this case, I'm using Relax from 3M, but Multilink from Ivoclar is an excellent choice as well. I recommend avoiding light cure only resins as they can be difficult to cure later. I apply the resin on the interior of the jacket and the exterior of the bar and then carefully join both parts together and clean off any excess cement with a micro brush. Ideally, checking the occlusion on articulator is recommended at this point to ensure the fusing process doesn't create any high contact points. Very important is also to clean the screw access holes in the jacket with a micro brush. That is especially critical if the bar is screwed to the model. You can tack cure and then fully cure for 7 minutes in a light box. While the restoration is in the light cure box for 7 minutes, I'm going to take the opportunity to crack the high score on the pinball machine in the lunchroom. After curing, use a hot steam cleaner to remove the wax from the excess holes in the bar. That works really well if you cleaned up the cement with a micro brush. Then use a small diamond burr to open up the excess holes within the nano ceramic jacket. Using a small carbide burr, I carefully trim around the neck of the teeth to separate them from the gingival area. This step makes it easier to refine the gingival section later without damaging any tooth structure. Next, I switch to a larger carbide burr to thin out the margin between the bar and the jacket. This area will be covered with gingival material, so creating some space, even if it means cutting through the nano ceramic into the trilor, is acceptable. Using a smaller flame carbide burr, I trim around the teeth and gingival area to create space for the composite material between the papilla. Deeper areas will give the gingival a more three-dimensional appearance. The next section of the video is part of my favorite section of all and I made a whole video about contouring teeth in general. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and you can watch it. It's a whole video about how to contour teeth naturally. I'm gonna cover this here really briefly and when the material, the non ceramic material is fairly soft considering the high content of ceramic particles. Like I said in the opening statement, it's 78% ceramic particles, the rest is PMMA and some fillers. And you have to be careful when you shape these teeth that you don't shape an oval tooth like a square tooth. Here, Here I'm, I'm gonna, gonna put, put some vertical lines, lines and then I'm gonna put, put some horizontal lines. And after I steam clean the restoration, I'm gonna clean it again with alcohol, that's important. Then I'm gonna put 
pack bond on the material, especially on the tri -law, and a little bit on the jacket as well. I'm going to apply it with a micro brush really carefully, also it's epoxable because there we're going to put some gingival material as there. And now it's time to bond the tie base into the tri bar. You have to treat the tri bar inside a little bit with pack bond and light cure before you use the cement. You can use anything from Multilink, from Ivoclar to real likes from 3M. Here I'm going to put a little bit cement onto the tie base with a micro brush and carefully insert it into the tri -lor. Then clean it up with a Q-tip carefully and when all the tie bases are inside the tri bar, then then you use your model and you position your whole restoration onto the model and secure it with the screws. Don't make a mistake to try to cure it without the screws in place. You might risk that the restoration is not going to fit. You can take cure each side for 30 seconds and then put it in the UV light box for 7 minutes. Before I start layering the pink tissue, I repositioning the gingerbread mask and secure the restoration on the model. Now we're gonna get to the fun part. We're gonna layer some pink composite. We're gonna use dark pink from NX Gum for the base. We're gonna overlay everything with NX Gum orange pink. And around the CJ, we're gonna use some floral light pink. You can use these really affordable ones from Amazon. These are silicon tips and it makes it really easy if you mix a little bit modeling liquid which comes from Alex Gum as well. If you use it a little bit and smooth it out, it works wonders. The layering method demonstrated in this video is designed to be easy and replicated immediately. My goal is to present a technique that can be implemented into practice right away. You can even say implemented right away on Monday. Actually, the demo case featured in this video was completed by one of my students who was using NX Gum and this method for the very first time. We begin by applying dark pink at the junction of the natural tissue and trilo and smoothing it out into the areas between the roots of the teeth. Utilizing one of the silicone tools by Amazon, search term silicone clay modeling tools and an extant modeling liquid to soften the paste gives excellent results. Next, we apply the light pink over the dark pink. If you find that the dark pink needs to be cured in between to prevent material from being pushed to the sides, you can tack cure it for 20 seconds. Using the pointed silicone tip, we spread the light pink paste into the papilla and slightly under the teeth. I blend it out towards the teeth to create a nice emergence profile and to create room for the light pink. You can add more material to adjust areas with gaps and model LC liquid and the silicone tip help to achieve a seamless junction. At this point, we can also fine tune the anatomy like roots and imperfections in the tissue. For the light pink around the neck of the teeth, you can use either light pink paste or light pink flow. I have found that the flowable pink is easier to manage in these small areas that don't need much material. Instead of using a silicone tip, I use a fine brush to apply the material around the teeth. Be careful not to use too much as it can create a widest band around the teeth which often occurs with excessive light pink paste. You can also use light pink to create a label frenum which is most distinctive on the upper arch in between number 8 and 9. After a quick tech cure for 10 seconds, we apply some red and blue stains from an extend with a fine brush to achieve the look of veins. There's no right or wrong in applying those, but usually less is more. Then we complete the lingual with orange pink paste and smooth it out with a silicon tool and model LC. When I had my case in the UV light box for 7 minutes, I discovered that someone was trying to crack my pinball high score. That's not acceptable. Once the material is fully cured, we can take the device off the model and fill in any gaps underneath with dark pink. I prefer using a large plastic spatula for the steps as metal tools can leave sometimes contamination. After applying the material, I press the device back onto the model to ensure a snug fit. Then, using a silicone flat tip and model LC liquid, I blend the junction seamlessly to avoid any gaps or imperfections. The goal here is to achieve a smooth surface overall. After that, it gets light cured again for 5 minutes. 
The transparent cover gel is spread across the entire surface of the pink for a final curing cycle, eliminating the inhibition layer, that's the sticky layer on the surface, and ensuring a thorough curing of the restoration. This step is crucial before proceeding with any polishing or glazing. To glaze the surface, I recommend Nano Vanish from Drave, which is known for its ability to be applied very thin and does not yellow over time. I apply a very small amount with a micro brush and make sure that I don't overlap any red areas I stained before, which can cause bubbles or pits. Be mindful of limits the material in the occlusal fossa and in between the teeth, which can cause bubbles as well. Cure the glaze for approximately 4 to 5 minutes in the UV light box. I hope you liked the video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell as well so you get updated on all future videos. Don't forget to watch the video about contouring teeth which is going much more into detail into tooth shapes and how to make a teeth look very very natural. Until then, stay tuned.